My name is Michelle Sanford. I am a TEDx speaker, a tech girl superhero, and one of MCV's 30 most influential women in games. I'm the vice chair of the Australian Computer Society in WA, and I work for Microsoft. I am going to talk to you today about LinkedIn and how you can improve your profile. Um, that's because I am the number one social seller in the world for Microsoft. I have the highest SSI, which is 94 currently. Um, and so I'm going to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. I hope you find it useful. And if you do, follow me on all the social media. I will put the details at the end of this blog. So we're going to start with an example uh, who was a friend of mine from the UK. He contacted me the other week and said he was having trouble uh, finding a job. He'd been out of work for six months. LinkedIn was not his friend and he wanted help with his CV. Um, I looked at his LinkedIn profile and said, I think it's more that you're not LinkedIn's friend than the other way around. Let us start with that because I honestly think that this is where the opportunity is. Um, First of all, his banner, so this blue background, this is the default that LinkedIn provides you with. It's absolutely fine to leave it like that, but it's kind of a wasted opportunity. You have a chance here to show people who you are and to establish some additional credibility, um, and he hasn't done anything with that. The other thing that's missing is his profile picture. When you are going to an interview or when you're going to meet a new customer or client, it would be really good if when you turned up, you recognized each other. And that is the purpose of the profile picture in LinkedIn. So they can look you up, see what you look like. And then when they walk into a room, you immediately meet each other's eyes and say, hey, good to meet you. If you are both standing at the opposite sides of coffee shop and uh, peering around the room, trying to figure out, is that the person I'm supposed to be meeting or not? Super embarrassing, it wastes time, and it, I don't know, it makes me really anxious when that kind of thing happens. Um, looking for new opportunities, he's kind of wasted an opportunity there in that he hasn't said what opportunities he's looking for. I don't know, without going further into his profile, what he is qualified for, what he's interested in doing, it, he's making me work for it and you know what I don't really have that much time so let's go further down um, he has got some activity and that's good you want to like stuff you want to comment stuff because then your profile will show up in other people's feeds and people will recognize your name and they will recognize your face if your profile picture is on your profile he's put his his work experience in there but if this was your CV, you would have taken some time to sort of call out the things that you had done well, the um, achievements of your career, the things you're proud of, the things that you would, I don't know, where you smashed your KPIs out of the water, where you were nominated for awards, all sorts of stuff like that, employee of the month, whatever. Um, and then the other thing that's missing there that I think is really important is recommendations. Recommendations are like references, but they have a blockchain behind them. When I say a blockchain behind them, what I mean is if I see a phone number at the bottom of your CV for your reference and I call that phone number um, and then say, hello, is this the president of IBM? The person at the other end of the phone who could be your mum or your dad just as to say, yeah, this is the president of IBM, ask me anything you want about Mark, yeah, he was a great guy. But I have no way, or indeed no easy way, to validate whether the person I'm asking for a reference is really the person that you claim they are on the piece of paper that you've sent me. Very old school. Whereas in LinkedIn, your recommendation is there and the person who has given you that recommendation is there and you can click on that and you can go to that person and you can read their recommendations and you can click on their recommendations and you can follow all the way through and you have a chain of credibility there. So you can easily work out whether someone is, is genuinely as good as they claim to be. Um, when you look at my profile and you read the recommendations on there, I think there's there's about 40 of them. And if you read them all, by the time you come to the end, you know who I am. You know what I'm like to work with. And <clears throat> it 
It gives you a much bigger picture. As a hiring manager, 200 CVs hit your desk, all black and white, all times New Roman. <sighs> everyone's got experience, everyone's got qualifications, everyone's got those anonymous phone numbers at the bottom with references to call. Uh, it's very hard to figure out and to picture whether you can pick have one of these people in your team, whether they will be the best person for the job. But LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to show off all that you are, all that you can bring, and it's pretty glorious. Uh, let's look at Troy. So Troy works with me at Microsoft. This is a little bit better uh, because he has put a profile picture in there. However, I wouldn't recognize him in a coffee shop from that photo. So therefore, it's not doing, it's not really adding any value. <clears throat> he also hasn't put any, um, he hasn't put his elevator pitch in here. He hasn't put a profile blurb, which would at, at the very top give a little bit more insight into who he is and what he can do. Um, hasn't really filled out anything about his experience um, and what he's brought to the role and no recommendations. Anto, however, is a completely different story. <laughs> Uh, I left her name all unblacked out because this is a glorious profile, no reason not to be proud of it. Um, she has put a picture of the Redmond campus, the Microsoft Redmond campus in the background. This immediately establishes her credibility and links it to the power of Microsoft. She's got a very clear photo in there of who she is and what she looks like. You'd be able to see her across the room and walk straight over to her. Her tagline, uh, what she does, for who, and how she does it. Oh, that's just perfect. I really have. I mean, it's perfect. Um, the three-line elevator pitch as well, just explaining who she is, straight to the point, um, and shares all you need to know. Reading that, you really have a good impression about what you're going to get. A uh, little bit of activity. Under each job she has done, she has put uh, just three lines about what that job was and what she brought to that role. Uh, really simple, really straight to the point, really good. Uh, see where it's uh, sort of grey out instead of uh, an actual symbol there? That's because um, she's linked it to a company that doesn't exist. So if she had linked it to Google, uh, the logo would have come up there, or Alphabet, the logo would have come up there. I would guess that the, the, the sub-company that is Google Maps doesn't have its own specific uh, company page, and that's why that's greyed out. Um, and she has seven recommendations, and she's given six. So this is what I'm saying, you can then go to, you can read what Laura says about her and then you can click on Laura and go to Laura and see what people say about Laura and then you can click on what the people who say stuff about Laura, <laughs> who they are and follow the chain all the way through so that you really know that the person you see here is definitely the person that uh, you're going to meet and that is in front of you. So it's. Yeah, it really gives you a, a clear oversight and insight into the person that you are thinking of employing or you're going to meet in a business dealing. Okay, so finally I'm just going to show you my profile. Um, it's a little bit of a different view because what you see here is what I see, not what you would see. So there's some extra stuff in there. Um, I have got a background that shows me speaking at a conference and uh, a photo with a matching outfit on which shows that I have a, a consistent brand at least in my outfits. Um, the reason I've gone with this background is because I am a public speaker and I want people who are booking out conferences to know that they, they could ask me to come speak at their conferences. It establishes my credibility by showing that <clears throat> I have already done that kind of thing before. Um, in my job title, well, tagline I guess, I have put the things that I am. None of those things are the job title that the company gives me. Those are the things that I do and the things that I bring to the world. 
so that's what I've used that line for. I've put a little bit of a blurb underneath here, but mine is much bigger than uh, Anto's. I don't think that's necessarily a great thing. I really love the way she's very concise about who she is and what she does. But I have taken the opportunity here to call out a load of my achievements, um, which is an option. The other thing to mention is there's a lot of rich media within my profile. You didn't used to be able to do that on LinkedIn, but they have enabled that now. So you can attach their links to your websites, to videos you've done, to blogs, to articles you've written, to uh, radio interviews, to, um, I don't know, presentations, anything you like. It adds a little color to your profile, but it also gives greater insight into who you are and what you, what value you can offer the world. Um, I have three and a half thousand followers. The reason I have followers is because I write articles. Now it's, it's not true that you need to have, you need to write articles in order to have followers, but if you don't put more of yourself out there, if you don't write down some of your thoughts, if you don't share some advice, some tips, some tricks, uh, some of your expertise, then there isn't really any point in people following you. People follow you because they hope they will be able to gain some greater insight from the things that you're sharing. So it's, it's a good thing to get into the habit of doing. Uh, again, my blurb is a little bit more than Ante's. I, I really admire how concise and clear she is about who she is and what she does. Um, however, it's, you have got as much room as you need, so you don't need to beat yourself up if you can't do it as neatly as she's done it. Um, I've tried to add a little bit of rich media into every section as well, and I've tried to have it so that different ones are viewing in each section, so that there's a little bit of something different. You do have the opportunity to add as many as you like, but I think that looks a little bit too cluttered. Um, the other thing to call out is volunteer experience. Volunteer experience counts for a lot, especially if you don't have a lot of work experience to call on. People want to know what else you are doing in the world, what you are giving back to the world. You can pick up a lot of valuable leadership skills and team working skills. You can show that you are a contributor to community through your volunteering work. And that says a lot about who you are as a person. Um, yeah, a lot of recommendations in there. I would say that if you, <laughs> if you read all of my recommendations, you will have a very clear picture of who I am and what it's like to work with me. And that is what people are looking for. Um, you can also list out your accomplishments, honors and awards, certifications, organizations you're part of, publications that you're in, languages. Um, the more you add, the better your profile is, the more there is for people to look at, and the more people will then look at you, and the higher your SSI score will become. But more than that, people will trust you more. They feel like you are living your life out in the open with nothing to hide. Um, that that means something in, in this day and age. Um, that's pretty much all I want to call out. Okay, so uh, thanks for following my video today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, you can follow me on all the social media. I have a screen coming up with all of those details on just after this. And I will put some more videos up soon showing uh, other tips and tricks that you can do in LinkedIn. Uh, <laughs> I hope you will watch those too and share them with your networks. Uh, thanks a lot for watching today.